In this short video, we'll take a look at the integration between PTC Modeler and CodeBeamer. So we'll start out by looking at the scope diagram in PTC Modeler for a hybrid SUV. And then drill down into the system decomposition diagram to identify the model items we're going to link back with uh, requirements. So now let's move over to CodeBeamer. Um, and in our example, this is the start of our digital thread uh, with our product requirements. And here are some example requirements we'll use uh, in this flow. So now moving back to PTC Modeler, uh, we can see our local model on the left and the diagram. Uh, and on the right hand side, you can see we can connect directly to CodeBeamer and see those very same requirements. We can create a query to filter the requirements so that we don't see thousands of coping requirements and just have the ones we're interested in uh, linking uh, to our model. Before we create our links, uh, using the local property page, we can see the, the information about that requirement uh, so that we can ensure it's the right requirement to link. Then creating a link is a very simple case of dragging and dropping, just like you do for all the uh, items inside PTC Modeler. And now that we've successfully created that link to CodeBeamer, you can see again the properties of that remote requirement locally here without leaving PTC Modeler. And as we're running live on a multi-user database, uh, all other model users can also see those links that we've created. Then if we choose to, uh, we can use the embedded hot link to jump directly to that requirement over in CodeBeamer. And here we can see all of the details of that requirement. And then if we have the right privileges and we need to, we can modify that requirement. So here we'll just make a, a simple example modification to the requirement. Then once the requirement is saved, uh, we can go back to PTC Modeler and you'll see that it's been identified as a suspect link. Um, and that uses all of the standard suspect link notation uh, over in PTC Modeler. So you can see the red diamonds uh, and the stereotypes. In this example, we uh, investigate the change and then clear the suspect flag. So as we've seen, um, PTC Modeler has uh, very good facilities for creating links directly with items in CoBeamer. Now that said, uh, you may also want to put those requirements or other items directly on diagrams. So to enable that, we provide a approach uh, using surrogates. These surrogates can be of any model item type um, and used on diagrams, and they store a, a very lightweight pointer back to the original item in CodeBeamer, uh, just storing the name, timestamp, owner, and the link. Once you have a surrogate on diagram, you can then use all the standard associations within PTC Modeler uh, to create the relationships. Not only can you create relationships with the model items as we've done here, and so saying that this uh, requirement is to be satisfied by the design, but we can then also use it for elaboration of the requirements. So uh, using either existing requirements or new requirements, we can elaborate that remote coping requirement. So that rounds off this uh, short demonstration of uh, finding, linking and viewing um, requirements and other item types here in Modeler. Um, and as you've seen, it really gives you the feeling that uh, you have one database. Um, that CoBeamer data, those requirements, you can see them right here in PTC Modeler, drag them onto diagrams, connect them up just as if they were local model items. So very intuitive and you work exactly the same way that you work with any model item inside PTC Modeler. Now that we have some links, uh, we'll take a look at them in the PTC Modeler Traceability Report. Uh, here you can see examples with uh, requirements from CodeBeamer, uh, the types of items, the link types, and then the model items they link to. You can even see the current uh, suspect status. Um, and those links are hot links, so you can jump to the requirement in CodeBeamer or to the model item in PTC Modeler. And in addition to the traceability report, and of course, uh, document generator and other ways of outputting model information, uh, we also have uh, our reviewer. And in reviewer, we can 
um, take a look at those uh, OSLC links, uh, see the links that are existing uh, for items, see items that have no links, maybe you're looking for coverage, maybe designing against requirements. Uh, you can find OSLC links that are suspect, um, and even surrogates are suspect, that are suspect. And again, you can drill down into the details, and there are hot links there, so you can go and make those corrections or put links in place uh, throughout the model. So that wraps up this short demonstration of the uh, OSLC-based integration between PTC Modeler and CodeBeamer. And as you've seen, it really enables effective, robust um, digital product traceability between requirements and systems or software models.